am always monitoring my blood work. And the reason I'm always monitoring my blood work is because I'm always experimenting on myself. I'm always trying this supplement or th this type of diet or way of eating, uh, this type of exercise program. I'm doing different things and I want to see how it's affecting my blood work. So if you guys want to know more about what I do and uh, what works for me, like and subscribe. I do interviews with personal trainers, uh, training directors that are uh, directors and trainers in my health clubs. I interview doctors and nutritionists and uh, I'm not a doctor, but I've been doing this for a long time and I, I just share what's working for me, what I did and what happened. Simple as that. That's why I get my blood work done all the time. I'll do it once a month and I can just go pay because, you know, a lot of doctors aren't going to. Now, I'm not saying go rogue and be your own doctor because, you know, I, I have the opportunity to talk to a lot of doctors all the time and I can ask their opinions and so on. And I have my own doctors that I can ask this and they don't care if I go experiment on myself and get my blood work. So you can go pay for this on your own. It's not super duper expensive, but you might be trying something that you want to see how it affects your liver enzymes. So you got to get your liver enzymes tested. You may uh, want to know how your blood work is being affected in some other ways, maybe your cholesterol or something. Now, I do a lot of tests at home. I check my glucose at home. I check my triglycerides at home. I check my... HDL at home and my total cholesterol, I, I check at home on a regular basis. My um, glucose, I check two or three times a day and I've even worn a glucose monitor. And I check my blood pressure all the time. The three things that I'm looking at regularly every day for me is my triglycerides, my glucose. I know I don't check my triglycerides every day, but my glucose and my blood pressure all the time, every day, multiple times a day, because I want to see what's happening. And I also have the opportunity to talk to doctors. I interviewed Dr. Nario on here. He's a more of a holistic uh, type of physician. Biointegrative is his clinic, but he's an integrative physician. So they take some uh, of everything and just kind of try to go natural at first. I don't agree with everything he says, but I get to hear his opinion all the time. I can ask him questions about me before I interview him. So he knows I'm getting my blood work all the time and other doctors that I talk to, friends that I talk to who are physicians, I can ask them these questions. And hey, your neighbor might be a doctor and they might give you advice or their opinion if you say, hey, I got this checked and it's in the normal range, but it went up a little bit. Why do you think that happened? So all of my blood work is all in the normal range right now. But I use it to say, okay, should I give blood? I'm on TRT. Should I give blood? Um, well, I was giving blood, but my ferritin dropped too low. So I stopped giving blood. Those are the things that I monitor. Now I'm, I'm watching my iron and my ferritin to see what happens to it. I need to bring it back up before I give blood again. And so I'm watching different blood markers for being on TRT. And I just like to watch them closely every month or two. That's why I do it. And I'm kind of nut, a nut with this stuff, but my diet is very strict and I want to see uh, how my body is responding to the way I'm eating. I may modify the way I eat. I may modify my workout program and I want to see how it's affecting my blood work because call me weird. I think it's fun. I think it's fun to challenge myself and see how perfect I can make my blood work. It's never perfect probably, but it's pretty darn good for an older guy in his 60s. So that's why I monitor my blood work because I'm testing things on my body, different foods. I might try eating a certain type of a seed like a pumpkin seed uh, seeds for a month. Maybe I'll eat... Um, a cup full of pumpkin seeds for a month and see what it does. What does that do to my PSA? What does it do to, 
to different blood markers. So it, it's, it's a way for me to have fun with it. I know for most of you listening, it's probably boring. Um, and you don't want to do that. It's a pain in the rear end to go get your blood work all the time. But I'm a goofy guy that thinks it's fun and likes the challenge of it and likes to try to figure things out. Again, I always run things uh, by my doctor and, and tell them, especially if something goes out of whack, um, I tell them. And I'll ask, hey, do you think I should give blood? No, your ferritin's too low. Yeah, you're right. My ferritin was really low. I'm not giving blood this time. So that's kind of just the way I work it. And um, that's how um, I relay things to you. When I test something on my body, when I try something, I'm going to tell you what I did and I'm going to tell you what happened. Simple as that. So I will talk to you all next time.